Owen. Wow, he's going all in. Vince, a great opportunity for Dickey here. I think you have to gamble with two fives here. Let's go with the felt. The ante to 10,000. Blinds at 30 and 60. Action on Dickey Malone. He folds. Oh, yeah, Tyler Patterson, who took down this title last year. He's going to push all in with the king high. He's going for it right here. And he'll take the pot down. Queen, queen no slider. Tyler Patterson from Scottsdale, Arizona. Been a pro for 11 years. 33% to call. Has a World Series of Poker bracelet to his credit. Won this tournament a year ago. Going for his second WPT title in the same event. Never been done before. Started out as a poker dealer. And now they deal to him. Made a lot of money in the game. Well, he falls in now. And Kush on Davia with a very strong ace, queen, and the button. Well, he's going to raise it. 130,000 to go. And Sam Panzeca could well three bet here and get himself in big trouble with the ace, jack, of spade. But he just calls Vince. Yeah. Does not re raise here. And allows Dickey in the big blind to come in if he wants, but he opts not to. So as the cards lie, Ann Kush has him dominated. And the flop comes ace, three, four, all clubs. Wow, both hitting aces, and we have a kicker problem there for Sam. Well, Ann Kush also has the best draw. He's got the flush draw. So Ann Kush with the best hand and the best draw. Continues for 150. And Sam obviously going to at least call. He does call, does not raise here. And Chris looks back at his hand. Now, you'd think he'd look back to see if he had a club in his hand, which he does. Now the board pairs threes. Well, again, Sam checks. And Ann Kush just does not want to be check raised in this situation, so he checks also. The nine of spade comes off. Will Sam bet now? Probably thinks he's got the best hand. I would think it with Ace Jack. He's going to check. And now Ann Kush has to think he has the best hand with Ace Queen. He knows Sam is going to re-raise before the flop if he had Ace King. And there's a chance he could have a flush or a full house, but you have to think Ace Queen is good after they both checked on the turn. Yeah, well, Ann Kush is going to stick in a bet of 400,000. Yep. Get a little more value out of this hand. Well, Vince, I don't know how Sam's going to get away from this hand the way it was played. I think you're right. Well, because Ann Kush checked on the turn. There's the call. He's queen. Calls. The queen is going to play in this hand. Ace is up with a queen kicker, and Kush taking down that pot. Yep. And Kush Mandavia, 29 years old, lives in Houston, Texas. Very experienced, close to $3 million in lifetime poker earnings. It's a live tournament earnings. I'm sure he's made a lot more online as well, but his biggest cash was $787,000. Finished third in a big high roller to get that money, but. He has done well in his young career. Well, he has folded this hand, and Sam with a drop an ace deuce of clubs, kind of surprising. Dickey with an awful 9-6. In the small blind. And he's going to call. He's going to open calls. himself up to get this pot taken away from him, and that's what's going to happen here. All in. And Tyler is going all in. You're just not going to put your opponent on an ace when they limp in the small blind. If they're trapping you, they just got you. But he's not trapping. Well, Tyler throws out the bounty. He gets 770. That's an extra 2,500 in cash for any one of these guys at the table that can win it and knock Tyler out of this tournament. So the question is, does Dickie want to gamble here with a 9-6 offsuit? Going to cost him another 710,000 to do so. And I don't think you want to put your money in with a 9-6 here. You don't want to double up a Tyler Patterson with this garbage hand. There it is. So Tyler Patterson with the all-in bet taking it down. Brings back his bounty badge. Trying to collect it for the second year in a row. That's astonishing. And we move on now. Dickie Malone with his huge ace queen of spades. Well, he will definitely be playing this hand. As the chip leader. Dickey owns a small construction business. Used to be a firefighter. 56 years old, out of Macon, Georgia. 
He's got everything going for him here tonight. He also got in this tournament on a $550 satellite, Vince. So what a parlay he's making wherever he finishes. And there's the raise, 155,000. Oh, just the hand Tyler had been waiting for. A big duke where he can get all his chips in. Two kings, what a time to get him. 155,000. All in. All in. And Kush with the tens behind him. Wow. And Kush picking up tens, three big hands here. He knows Tyler is going to have a wider range than two kings to move all in here. And by far, we do it with two fives, two eights, ace nine perhaps. All in. And then Kush is going all in as well. Kush has moved all in. Sunglasses are coming off. And now we're back to Dickie Malone with the ace queen of spade. Now, Vince, you have to know Ann Kush, at least Ann Kush, has a very big hand here where he wouldn't get involved. He doesn't have to get involved. He would just let Tyler and Dickie fight it out if he had a marginal hand. So he must have a big hand here. Dickie should know that and also know that Tyler could perhaps have a big hand, which indeed he does. Yeah, I think this is very droppable. You don't need to get involved at this point. Now, Vince, he knows if he calls and loses his spot, he'll still have over two million in chips and still be in the race. But if he calls and wins the pot, he'll be the big chip leader playing heads up for the title. So do you want to gamble here? Vince, one of these players could easily have ace-king. I just don't oh, yeah. see how you'd want to play ace-queen in this spot. You wouldn't want to play it. It's just a matter if you want to gamble or not. There's another side of it that says maybe he just knows his best chance is to gamble against these kind of players. You know, because it's suited, it might influence him, Vince. Oh, oh boy, he's made he the call. He does make the call. Wow. Well, Tyler Patterson's not going to be happy to see it because he'd rather play the Kings against the two tens. Oh. But he's got the best hand, got a chance to triple up here and be well on the road to defend his title. If he gets outdrawn by either one of these guys, he's out. What a dramatic hand. It is up for grabs. Ah, a little kiss for Carolyn. <laughs> She was good luck for him last year, been good luck so far this year. Let's see what happens here with the two kings of Tyler. Can the firemen slide down the pole successfully? Dickie Malone saying, please give me an ace just once in my life. I won't ever ask for it again. <laughs> he could knock two players out, have All the right, big chip lead, off. playing heads up for the title. Where's an ace when you need one? Looks like a bunch of little ones. No, eight, four, deuce. Well, so right. far, so good for the two pros. I'll take a turn, Hart, for, for the sweat. Yeah, uh, spade, sweat. No, no, no. Come on, spade. Heart, heart spade, sweat. Great. Spade. Going to the turn, Dickie Malone. Right, Wanted to find turn. that ace. He got the ace! Wow! Can you believe it? Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah. Go. <laughs> It ain't over yet. There's still a Come on. I got it. Oh, I thought that was a river card. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry, man. I thought it was a river card. <laughs> yeah. If the hand finishes this way, Tyler will finish right, in fourth place because Ann Cush had him more chips when the pot started. There's the river. It's a five. Lady Luck shining again on Dickie Malone. That's going to do it for the defending champion, Tyler Patterson, and the tough pro, Ann Kush Mandavia. Tyler's going to take home 100,000, Ann Kush 152,000, respectively. I mean, I was so good at <laughs> Heartbreak for Tyler Patterson there, Vance. He triples up here. He's got a great shot to defend his title. Who knows what would have happened? But that's poker. Give Dickie Malone credit. He knew he had chips to gamble enough to make the call. He still had a couple million if he lost it. He decided to go for it. And what timing for him? It paid off in spades. Gentlemen, is anybody going to stop Dickie? I am, I'm not sure about that. Maybe Sam can do it, but uh, we certainly couldn't. Well, he's busted all four players so far. Tyler, you came in tonight with only victory in your mind. How disappointed are you? Yeah, it's a big letdown. Got in a good spot. Uh, you know, full of a lot of hands to get there. But uh, yeah, Dickie's unstoppable right now. I mean, maybe Sam can do it. We'd like <laughs> we'll to see. <laughs> he's a good kid. 10% chance. <laughs> <laughs>
$1 for 1 million tournament. Sign up for free today at WPTGlobal.com and win your share of a million dollars. Could this be the best value tournament ever? Could this be the biggest overlay ever? Use bonus code YT28 to play the $1 for 1 million tournament only at WPT Global. Sam with a pair of 10s. Well, you can only jab so much when you're short stack, but it's compared yeah. to the other guy. But this time, Sam has got a hand. Two 10s. Dickie could well raise with a six suited, but opts to call. So we're going to have a flop here. Yep. A6 versus a pair of 10s. Well, flop comes 10, 8, 5 with two spades. The best hand possible for Sam. The top set, 30 miles, Flint to Saginaw. Dickie has checked. What a flop for Sam. He can't believe it. Hitting the three tens, putting out a bet of 250. Well, an easy getaway for Dickie here in my mind. Doesn't have any spades in his hand. Not so fast. He's going to make this call. A little surprised by that. And now an ace comes off. Wow, this could get Dickie in big trouble here. Vince, he's drawn completely dead. Doesn't matter what comes off next. Dickie Malone is going to lose this pot, and just a matter how much money he's going to lose along with it. Well, 375000 is the bet. 375, well, Vince, if you call with A6 on the flop and hit an ace, you're not going anywhere, no, that's no. for sure. That's for sure. It does make the call. River card. Well, jack of diamonds, so possible straight, possible flush out there now. Dickie checks his two aces, but Sam is not going to check three tens. He's only got about a million left. Owen. There you go. Yeah. If he made a hand to beat this, fans, good luck to him. I'll call. Well, Dickie has made the call with two aces. Not going to like it. Sam Panzeca doubles up with three tens. But Vince Dickey oh, put in 1.4 million more than I believe he should have on that pot. I think it's an easy getaway on the flop. Yeah, but he he plays that way. He plays unorthodox. He sticks around. He really does. Little did he know what he was up against. Well, do you think the guy's going to bluff his last money off in this spot playing heads up against you? No. I don't think so. But once you hit that ace, you start to think this is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Overrate your hand, but... And Sam needed that turnaround. He gets it right there. Now we move on. Dickie Malone this time with the king, queen of clubs. Well, certainly a beautiful hand playing heads up poker. Dickie going to raise it to 300,000. Sam looks down at a very attractive ace jack of spades. When we saw him have this hand before earlier at this final table, it was raised up front. He didn't three bet it. He's not doing it here either. He makes the call. Two quality hands, and the flop is a jack. Five, three, jack's there for Sam. Beautiful flop for Sam right there. He's going to check. Dickie with two clubs in his hand, probably going to make a continuation bet, which you can't blame him for. And indeed he is. 200,000. I think if you're Sam, you have to check raise in this spot. In case your opponent's got ace four or king queen suited like he does have. You just don't want to give him a free card by calling here where you could get beat. He could even have two sixes, two sevens, where he could make three of a kind, but Sam, Sam does raise it here, 550. I like this raise. Dickie goes out, and Sam creeping up on the chip leader. Yeah, Sam has made close to 1.5 in lifetime tournament earnings. Says he's a big fan of the Detroit Tigers and the University of Michigan. Oh, boy. Well, I'm a Buckeye, so you know what that means. <laughs> Just to show you Sam wants to play small ball, he limps in on the button playing heads up with an ace high. So it shows you he wants to play post-flop as much as possible in this heads up battle, thinking he can outplay his opponent. Well, the flop is a king 10 7. Seven's for Sam. Well, he checks the bottom pair. Now a three comes off. Gives Dickie a pair of threes. Well, Vince, you might think two threes are good here after your opponent checks the flop. I'd probably bet here in this spot, too. 150. Well, Sam's going to make the call here. So that's got a concern. 
Dickey somewhat. Now a four comes off. Well, Dickey checks. Now, I would think he would just check it down there with two sevens. In case your opponent's got a pair of kings or a pair of tens. Nope, he wants more. Must put him on a pair of threes. He's got the value bet in at 225,000. But Dickey lays down the two threes. Things start to turn the other way. The youngster coming back. We are back, and what a horse race we're seeing. Dickey Malone with 5.8. Sam Panzeca with 5.5. Yeah, quite a battle right now. It's going to be fun to see how it comes out. Let's get back to the table. And Sam. Well, now he's raising on the button here with a 10-8. He was limping in before he got a hold of some chips on every pot. Now he's going to start making the men raise and see what happens here. Well, Dickey with the suited connector is going to make the call. We're going to have a flop. Now flop, queen, jack, deuce, two diamonds. No help for either player. Does give Sam a gut shot straight draw. Dickey checks. Now Sam going to make a continuation bet of 400,000. Unless Dickey thinks he's making a complete move where he's going to raise him here, he's not going to continue. He gives it up. So Sam Panzeca is starting to get a little more aggressive now that he's got chip fence. And with that hand, he takes the chip lead in his heads up battle for the first time tonight. How much? How much are they? By the way, the blind's up to 125, 250. And action's on Dickey. He's got a pair of fives here. Second time he's had them at this final table. The speed limit hand for the firefighter. And he's going to raise the pot to 625,000. Sam Panzeca with the ace three offsuit. First time he's had the chip lead tonight. All in. Wow, he's going all in. Vince, a great opportunity for Dickey here. I think you have to gamble with two fives here. You know you might be in a race, but it could be the best chance for you to win this tournament. But he gives it up. Well, Vance, I'm just surprised Dickey wouldn't have gone for it there. We saw him gamble early the first hand at this final table where he had two runners to win the pot. And then he gambled a really big pot against Tyler and Ancush with the ace queen. He spiked an ace on the turn to win that pot to knock those guys out. Yet here he was, essentially with an opportunity to virtually win the tournament, and he opted to fold him. Well, I think it's pretty obvious, Mike, that he's inexperienced in heads-up poker. We move on. The flop is a king 5-3, so kings for Sam. Yep, top pair for Sam, middle pair for Dickey. Sam is checked, and Dickey is going to bet middle pair, which you certainly can't blame him for. And Sam is going to make the call with the two kings. Yep. We're opening them in. And a seven comes off. So this gives Sam top pair and a good shot straight draw now. But it goes check, check. Now the board pair sevens. Sam has got to think King's up with the best hand now. I think you absolutely almost put your opponent on a smaller pair than that. He bets 450,000. Quickly called by Dickey and King's up. Going to win this pot. So Sam Panzeca extending his chip lead. And things have turned around in a big way for Sam. Way out in front, the 24-year-old with a chance to take down his first WPT title. We are coming back with more action from Best Bet in just a moment. Right now, Sam Panzeca trying to get all the chips. He's got about 8.7 million compared to 2.6 million for Dickey. All right, we have an unraised pot. 4-3 versus 9-4, let's go. Now yeah, flop comes king 6-5. So Dickey with the open end straight draw, but Sam with zippity doo -dah is going to lead out in bet to try to steal the pot, 250,000. But that is not going to work because of the drawing hand that Dickey has. Yeah, Dickey would love to get lucky here, but not to be on the turn. Ten of clubs. Well, Sam is going to shut it down here. It goes check, check. Sam with the best hand with nine high right now, but no longer as the seven comes off, giving Dickey a straight. Well, Sam is just waving the flag. He's not going to lose any more money with this pot. He took one stab at it. That's going to do it. Oh, yeah, but Dickey with big dreams here. Catching the straight, hoping to get a good payoff. Oh, yeah. And he's going to bet all in to a yeah. man that has nothing, and he releases it. Oh, Dickey picking up a little pot there. But you're happy to get him when you don't have many chips. 
Arctic. He's gotten this tournament through a $550 satellite. He is running it up to big time money here tonight. One dollar for one million tournament. Sign up for free today at WPTGlobal.com and win your share of a million dollars. Could this be the best value tournament ever? Could this be the biggest overlay ever? Use bonus code YT28 to play the $1 for 1 million tournament only at WPT Global. Dicky Malone looks down and an awful three deuce with the button. Well, this is the worst hand you can have playing heads up poker. A three deuce offsuit, worse than the seven deuce. Sam with a little pair of deuces here. And he just says all in. You want to play, you got to put it all in. And of course, Dickie smiles because you can't call that. Can beat that. <laughs> good. <laughs> Sam looking good now, striding strong. We started out this event with 379 players. We have a total prize pool of close to 1.8 million. And it's coming down to these two guys, 156 years old, 124. Both going for the first WPT title. All in. Wow. Dickie going to stab it an all in. 10-8. That's all he's got. Well, there you go. And let's see if Sam has a calling hand. Doesn't appear it. Just an yes. awful nine deuce. Well, maybe Dickie realizing small ball is not working for him. Let's play some big ball and see what happens. He moves in, picks up the pot. I think the best hand when you've shoved is on 10 deuce. The <laughs> fireman trying to get hot. The heads up battle will continue. We're coming back for more on the World Poker Tour. So a complete reversal of fortune in this heads up battle. Let's see if it continues. All in. 56-year-old Dickie going all in. I don't blame him for going all in here. His opponent can beat that hand. Good luck to him. He can't. Dickie taking down the blinds and annies. Yeah, got in his tournament through his satellite. Owns a small construction business. But right now, he would like to be a WPT champion. Needs a big turnaround. Just a few hands back. Sam was spiraling out of control. All in. Now look at this, on this hand, Queen Jack, he's gonna put all the pressure on Dickie, and Dickie's got ace deuce. Yeah, he's got a good chance here, Vance. If he gambles it, wow, throws an ace high away. With his chip stack, you wonder about that, but he just thought at best he'd be a three to two favorite. That's at best case scenario. Could be a lot worse off than that, so he just opted to throw it away and move on. Oh, and now Sam has pushed all in with a king high and Dickie with an ace three this time. And this time he's going to do the right thing, make the call. Well, Dickie out in front here with ace high. If the ace high holds up, we'll be pretty close in chip count once again in this heads up battle. As Dickie's family, his wife and daughter in the stands drove down from Macon, Georgia to watch this man win. And he has to start with winning this hand. Be on Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, bro. I know. All right, let's see the flop. Here we go. Oh, the flop's at 8.75. Wow. Well, Sam's got a straight draw, along with the king and the nine. But Dickie out in front right now. As you can see, he's over a three to two favorite to win the pot from here. But no longer. Yeah. Sam hits the nine for a pair of nines. So now he is one card away from the championship. Yeah, give us a good sweat. Give us an ace on the river. Nah. What a card on the turn for Sam, the young 24-year-old out of Michigan, with a shot to take the title down right now with one card to come. Dickie looking for an ace to win, a six to tie. Nothing else will do for him. Yeah, all right over there? Huh? Sam uh, Panzeca with a chance to become a champion. He's done it! And it's a king. Kings and nines are going to win the pot for Sam Panzeca. Once again, youth prevailing on the World Poker Tour. Oh, man, what adversity we saw tonight. Sam is going to take the title down. He came back. He was the long shot. Eventually, you got to take your hat off to Dickie Malone. Played a great event all week, played a great final table, just wasn't quite meant to be for him tonight, but still, you get in the tournament for 500, you cash out nearly 250,000, you gotta say, hmm, pretty good week. My Dickie Malone, the ex-fireman, what a character, what a great guy, what a player. Let's go talk to him. Dickie, an amazing final table, an amazing heads-up battle. Did you ever think you'd make it this far? Not really, not really, but uh, it's been a tough road. I made it, and I mean, I'm happy with everything. You know, it could have been just a little bit better, but I'm happy. 
We busted four players at the final table. That's quite an accomplishment. What do you plan on doing with the money? Uh, I'll probably use it to get in other tournaments and uh, do some fixing up with the, uh, the the home. Okay, that's what your wife said, so you better do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, she wants me to. That's probably where it's going. <laughs> All right, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very much. You got it. was it. good. Okay, let's talk to the best bet bounty scramble champion from Saline, Michigan, Sam Panzica. Yeah. Sam, <laughs> congratulations on your performance tonight. Vince and I thought you played like a total pro, never lost your composure. Even when you got way behind playing the heads-up battle, you got to feel great about how you played this tournament. Feels pretty good. Uh, feels like a dream. I'm sure it'll hit me in a couple days. Well, you should be very proud of this performance. You won your first WPT title in addition to getting over 354,000. You're also going to get your name engraved on the WPT Champions Cup, an entry into the season ending WPT Tournament of Champions. You also get a beautiful 24K set of monster headphones and a beautiful Hublot watch to commemorate your entry. Once again, congratulations, Sam, on winning the best bet, Bounty Scramble. Thanks. Lynn, back to you.